So we, we're talking about failure models for rocks. And we said if you go to the lab and you do a series of tests with varying the confining pressure, um, you can create this series of more circles in which the tangent line to all those circles creates a more failure envelope, right? But then as a simple approximation to the real curve, we drew a straight line, essentially the best fit, straight line, and we call that the more Coulomb failure model, and it's parameterized because it's a straight line, it's parameterized by two parameters, the slope of the line and the y-intercept. And the y-intercept we call the cohesion. Right? And the slope we call the angle of internal friction, or the, the internal friction coefficient. So <coughs> if we wanted to do, you know, and then we, we talked about more complexities and other physics that can be incorporated into these models. And so if we wanted to do kind of the next or, or something more complex, um, if you look at that red line that um, is the real failure envelope, if we were to sort of extend that this way, then you can see it kind of looks like a parabola. Right? And so instead of trying to fit a straight line, we might get a better approximation to the data if we try to fit a, a parabola to that. Uh, and one model um, where that's done is, is called the uh, Hoke-Brown. So the Hoke-Brown model <coughs> has this form uh, where C0 is uh, the, the same unconfined compressive strength from before. Sigma 1 and sigma 3 have the same meaning as before, and maximum, minimum, principal stresses. But you have these two additional parameters, M and S. Uh, so M, these are fitting parameters, right? So these are, you know, you have to look at the data and then choose the M and S that fit the data the best. Uh, and here's a couple of values of M for different types of rock. And then S is a parameter that goes from 0 to 1, sort of like a damage parameter, uh, where 1 would be a fully intact rock, and 0 would be a completely granular rock with no cohesion. And so this is just another, another model, right? The Hoke-Brown model just improves the the fit from a linear to a, to a parabola. 